Hello, my name is Michelle and we are going to learn about sea turtles with Simona. Hi everyone, my name is Simona Ceriani. I am a research scientist here with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Uh, I work in the headquarters in St. Petersburg with FWRI and my job is to oversee the sea turtle nesting program for the state. We have five out of the seven sea turtle species that are found either nesting or in our waters. The most common species in Florida nesting on our beaches is the loggerhead, followed by the green turtle and the leatherback. And then in very rare occasion, we also have some Camps Ridley, which is the rarest sea turtle species in the world, and a very few hawksbill. So loggerhead sea turtles, I've heard those are special to Florida for some reason. Why are they unique in Florida? Thank you, Michelle. That's a great question and something that's very dear to my heart. Uh, we may have the impression here in Florida that loggerheads are very common because it's true, we have a huge number of loggerhead nests, but that's really something special of Florida and unique because we have approximately 40% of all the loggerhead nests in the world are in Florida, 4-0, which means that we have a huge responsibility and if loggerhead nest numbers in Florida are not doing well, the species is really in trouble. So for example, you know, we get excited and I get excited and a lot of uh, our network volunteers get excited when they see a green turtle nest or a letterback because the letterback is the most majestic, largest sea turtle that we have. And that's all true. But again, we should get excited because we have that number of loggerhead and that's a very unique thing of Florida. And that's mind blowing in my opinion. So how do we determine how many nests we have in Florida? That's a good question. We do that by having an incredible citizen science group of collaborators and partners across the state. We have approximately 2,900 people, volunteers, that do nesting survey every morning at sunrise from May until the end of August, sometimes longer. And these people are an incredible example of citizen science. So my job is really to coordinate the nesting data collection, but they are really the ones doing the job. So we have approximately 846 miles of sandy beaches that are monitored daily for May, June, July, August for at least four months out of the year, generally speaking longer. How would I go about volunteering to be a nest monitor and out on the beach and uh, watching for those nesting sea turtles? Well, we have 227 beaches that are monitored. We have a network of permit holders that are authorized by FWC to conduct the nesting survey on our behalf and collect the data. And so you can look up uh, in the area where you live and look up which group is conducting the survey and then sign up with them. And you will receive training with them, but you also will participate to a live training that we FWC organize each year. And then you will be working on a daily basis with the permit holder on your nesting area. In 2019, we had over 106,000 loggerhead nests, over 53,000 green turtle nests, a little over 1,100 letterback, only 11 uh, camps really, and in 2019, we didn't have any hawks film. Now, something that's really important for you to understand is that when I say that we had over 106,000 loggerhead, it doesn't mean that we had 106,000 individual female, because each female come to nest to the general area where she was born every two, three, four years. And when she comes, when she does the migration from the foraging area to the nesting area, once she arrives to the nesting area, she will remain in the area for a few months and come ashore every two weeks or so to lay a clutch of eggs, which means that a female lays between three, five, six clutches. So the 100,000 logger and nest are probably the equivalent of 20 to 30,000 individual female, which is still a lot, don't take me wrong, but it's not 100,000 individual females. That's interesting. So the number of nests doesn't necessarily mean the number of sea turtles have nested. Mm -hmm. since one female can lay up to five, six nests. Yes. So Simona, we learned a lot about sea turtles today and they're so special. How can we all make our beaches as suitable for them as possible? 
Well, we can do a lot to help sea turtle nesting safely in Florida. First of all, if you're enjoying the beach at night, make sure to walk by the waterline and use no lights. If you really need to use a light, make sure that you're using a red light or a LED light because that frequency uh, disturb less sea turtle. They are bothered a little less by the red light. Uh, make sure that you are not shoving your uh, cell phone camera and taking photos all over the beach. The cell phone, if you're enjoying the beach at night, keep your cell phone in your pocket. That's where it should be. Something else that we can do to uh, help sea turtles is also to remember, as I said, that they are protected by federal and state law. So we really need to leave them space. If you see a sea turtle coming up to nest or if you see hatchlings, stop be respectful and watch them from a distance, making sure not to interfere with their process. They've been doing this for millions of years, so we want to make sure they can continue to do what they have been programmed to do for so long. Something that I think we can do on a daily basis is that we all love the beach, and so let's make sure we share it. We go to the beach mostly during the daytime, and sea turtle use the beach at night. So make sure that you leave no trace Clear the way at the end of the day. Make sure your umbrellas, chair, cooler, your trash is disposed properly so that the space is free and the turtle doesn't get stuck with umbrellas and chair, but can actually come up and successfully nest. Same for the hatchlings. It's really important that they don't get stuck because the hatchlings are very tiny. They are only two and a half inches and they're little and everything wants to eat them. So their job is really to reach the water as soon as possible. Something else that's really important, obviously kids and sometimes adults too, love playing in the sand and making holes and build castle. And that's all fine. We're not saying that you shouldn't do that. Please do so, but do it mostly by the waterline. There are fewer sea turtle nests deposited there. So when you play in the sand by the water, you have less of a chance to accidentally dig into a sea turtle nest. And something that's super important, at the end of the day, make sure you close your hole, you bulldoze your castle and construction, because you don't want to be responsible for a little hatchling that gets stuck and cannot get out. And if you do see a sea turtle that looks like it's injured or entangled or in trouble, um, please call FWC. We have trained responders that will assist the sea turtle and give it the help that it needs. And something else we can also do is related to a big problem the sea turtle face on our beaches are related to artificial lighting. That's because sea turtle, both the adult female as well as the hatchling, can get disoriented so they can be attracted by the artificial light and may not be able to reach the water as fast as they are supposed to to avoid predators. If we live by the beach, we want to make sure to have turtle friendly light at our property. We also want to make sure that we close our blinds at dark so that the interior lights doesn't portray on the beach and can distract sea turtle. But this is something that we can also do something to help, not just if we live by the beach, but also if we live further. Because we all know that our cities are very bright. Our cities are so bright that they create a problem that's called sky glow, so that you can actually see the lights of the city from the beach. And that still can create some level of disorientation for the hatchling. So again, even if we live far away from the beach, we can be a little more conscious about it and make sure that we close our blind at night or do something that's more turtle friendly. Simona, thank you so much for talking to us about sea turtles nesting in Florida and what you learned about them and how we can help. Please visit our website to learn more about FWC sea turtle research and thanks for joining in. Thank you. My pleasure. Take care.